Yelele haye ho Hile yo Yelele haye ho Kenya this year has been hit with a devastating famine. This is accumulation of no rains for 2005 and for 2006. As a result, many of the people in northern Kenya have lost their cattle, their, uh, their goats, their camels, and uh, their way of life has been destroyed. CBM is involved with a lot of local partners in the northern part of Kenya in the Rift Valley in a four type of pronged program, as we say, to bring relief and disease control, mainly also in the area of trachoma, because trachoma is endemic in these areas. We're here today at Ilaut uh, Lutheran Dispensary in uh, Marsabit District, on the very southern edge of Marsabit, uh, at a day that we're doing a food distribution to the five-year-olds and under that came through CBM. Today we're giving out some Unimix, Uji Mix, milk powder, vitamins and iron supplements, soap to help with hygiene, when there's lack of water, so soap helps to prevent many diseases, including the trachoma. We're also giving out mosquito nets at the same time to prevent malaria. Traditionally, during drought times, people have helped this area of Kenya with food relief, and most of it in the past has been free. In recent years, we encourage food for work instead of only free food to help the people become less dependent on outside help and to help them feel good about getting the food for something that they've done to help improve their community. One reason we're here today is because of the drought and the famine in, in northern Samburu. But there's also another problem that's been here for many generations as, as we've been told, and that is trachoma. Julius's mother, unfortunately, has suffered from trachoma, and we want to hear a bit from Julius and his mother about how she became blind due to trachoma. Can you ask your mother how that trachoma came to her? For Julius's mother, she is at the end of the cycle of trachoma, uh, whereby, as she is saying, the eye lashes have literally turned in and begun to scratch the eye. So sometimes she takes these tweezers to pull the eyelashes out to relieve the pain. The trachoma control strategy, which is approved by the World Health Organization, which CBM is also part of uh, addressing in the districts of northern Kenya, is based on what is called the SAFE strategy, S-A-F-E. SAFE strategy uh, stands for surgery, uh, mainly eyelid surgery, for advanced stages of trachoma. We will be doing lid surgery for trachiasis, which is advanced trachoma, where the eyelids turn in, start to scar the cornea, and lead to irreversible blindness. We need to identify the people who need this surgery and get the surgery to them by training paramedicals to do this surgery where they find the people. Uh, we talk about the A part of it, which is the antibiotic, which will be distribution of an antibiotic called Zithromax, uh, which we'll do mass distribution of. The F stands for the face washing, which is the hygiene component, which is the water and sanitation part of the trachoma strategy. Water is life. And there's water in these mountains, and some, in, in some areas we're able to tap that in springs and have gravity feed water systems. But down here in the lowlands, in this river area, we've just been down to the singing wells here at, at uh, Ilaut, 
And as you can see, the water from that well, the quality is very poor. But this is an example of an improved well where CBM has partnered with our local partner here to cap this well and to put in a borehole uh, pumping system. The E stands for environmental control, which is uh, the use and uh, construction of pit latrines in the communities that are affected in this area. So the SAFE strategy is a comprehensive strategy looking at development uh, uh, holistically for the communities, but also primarily addressing the disease of blinding trachoma in these areas that have been very hard hit by the famine and drought in northern Kenya. A trachoma mapping exercise has been completed for six districts in Kenya. The Samburu district has the highest prevalence in children, which is 35 percent. The Christian Blind Mission envisions a countrywide approach, of which Samburu district will be the first district for implementation. <laughs>